Hi, welcome back to Labana Beauty. I'm Annabelle of Labana Beauty, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my eyebrow routine. So I've been feeling really dark brows of late, and today it came out a little bit thicker than usual, but like it's fine. It still looks really nice, especially because I have really dark hair. And this hair is from Maven Hair. It's their Brazilian straight with a frontal and two and a half bundles. Well, I bought three, but yeah, she's two and a half, and it's twenty. Frontal is like 18, I think, and then the hair is 20, 20, 20, 24. Long as it's 24, that's what I know. Um, I hope you like this look. Well, not really the look, my eyebrows. This is just a really soft natural beat that I came up with right after doing my eyebrows because I need to film my intro and my outro. But yeah, um, I, I hope you like this little tutorial. I'll list everything I use in the description box. And I was very explanatorial through the tutorial. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See you in my next video. So I start off with a fresh, clean face. Everything clean, moisturized. Yeah. And then I go in with my Becca Evermet primer. And I prime my eyebrows. Yeah, because my eyebrows tend to get oily throughout the day. I start to look waxy. I found that this trick works for me. So just take a little amount and I just rub it on my eyebrows and on my eyelids also. Pat it in. Then I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Sorry, mine looks kind of ratchet. It broke, but I'm still using it. And then I just brush my eyebrow hairs. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I go in with my Brow Wiz in dark brown. I brush my hairs up. So my eyebrows are not like done totally right now they are kind of messy but we'll make it work I start from the bottom and I just do tiny strokes from like halfway all the way to the tail and then I go in and do the top two still starting from halfway I'm doing tiny strokes till I get to the tail Then I go to the front and I do the same thing. Now the thing is the shape of my eyebrows turn out different every single time I do them. But yeah, this is what we're working with today. I like it. <laughs> For some reason I've been feeling really dark eyebrows of late because I don't know why. I just like dark eyebrows well, these days. And it works because I have dark hair right now. So, I go in with my brow pomade in... Oops. Brow pomade in Ebony. Again, I start halfway. And I just fill in. Same thing, I think. Then I go back in with this brush and I just brush out where the darkness starts. You see, it's starting to blend better. Yep. And then I use the dark brown pencil to fill in the front. Hair like strokes. I like the darkness to be focused at the end, like towards the tail, and the beginning should be lighter. And I go back in. Anything that seems remotely sparse. There we go. There we have it. Usually I would use a clear brow gel, but because I've been filling in my brows with something so dark, I go in with a lighter brown brow gel. This is the NYX one. It's the brow mascara in espresso. And then I just take it, remove the excess product from the tip because I don't want that to be left on my brows. And just brush the front upwards and then brush the back more like diagonally see that like I don't brush it fully down I brush it like up but to the side 
kind of bitterness Now that we're done with all this magic, I go in with a concealer that's my shade. This is the Elegal Concealer and Espresso also. My e.l.f. angle brush. I take some concealer. And then I go back in. I can't really talk while I'm doing this because I focus a lot, but yeah. I always start everything from like here and there, then I go to the front because I don't like the front to be as like defined or like concentrated as that. And then I use the same concealer and very very little concealer on the brush, barely anything. And then I go to the top. And this is what my brows look like for now. Um, today's shape is a little different, but you get the gist. Sometimes on days when I'm going for like a beep 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 face, I go in with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Amand. It's like a shade lighter than me, clearly. And I highlight under my brows. I don't do this every day because. Like, I mean, I don't wear makeup every day, but I don't do this every day I wear makeup because some days I just don't really want the highlighted look. Once in a while, I do that. So. And then I use my finger and very lightly pat it, very lightly so it doesn't remove too much of the product. Yeah, and there we go. From this to this, and this is what the brows look like. They're a little thicker and fuller than usual, but they are feeling really thick brows. I don't know why. And I'm back. Well, again, this is the finished look. It's not really anything too out of the ordinary. Like, it looks like I have no makeup on, literally, but I have just a tiny bit of makeup. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.